Bam! The McPounder. Holy mother of... Yeah, can I get a, a double quarter pounder with cheese with two extra patties and two extra pieces of cheese? And then uh, I'll have the combo with a large fry and a large unsweet iced tea. Okay, so that'll be it. That'll be it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Welcome back to Brick Eats. It's my host, Brian Brickman. Yeah, that's right, and I am sitting off to the side right now because you got to wait a little longer if you're going to order a quarter pounder with cheese with four patties, baby. That's right, we're doing the McPounder today. Boom! Quarter pounder with cheese times four, baby. Oh, it's going to be so good. I have been wanting to do this for a while, and I am so excited. I am so stoked, and I know I can finish it. This is not going to be any issue at all. I could eat four quarter pounders with the buns, let alone four quarter pounders with only one bun. Come on. Oh, there you go. Hello. Thank you. Thank you very you much. You sure is enough? That's right. It's going to be good, isn't it? It's going to be oh, awesome, right? <laughs> I can't wait. Well, she got jokes, man. I like that. You sure that's enough? <laughs> Holy sh**. Dude, look at the size of this thing. That's right, bad boy. Here we go. The McPounder Challenge starts right now. We're going to eat this whole thing for lunch. Mm. I don't care what anybody says. The quarter pounder with cheese, God, this thing dripping everywhere. This quarter pounder with cheese is one of the best fast food burgers, period. Man, you gotta go quick on this thing. Well, this thing is dripping everywhere. Mm. A couple years ago, McDonald's started cooking their quarter pounders fresh, and they are a lot better now. But they were good even in the two weeks that I worked in McDonald's when I was in high school. I love quarter pounder with cheese. Oh my God, this thing is a mess, man. Look at that. Whoa. It's literally just falling apart. To be honest, I don't even know why I ordered fries. Oh, that thing is massive. It's got that great quarter pounder with cheese taste, so you almost don't need the bun at all. This thing is overpowered by meat, baby, as it should be. It's just so hard to keep together. I mean, it is just breaking up like crazy. This bun is not rated for four patties, there's no doubt. At this point, I think I'm about two-thirds of the way done. There's a lot more burger than I was thinking it would be. A whole lot more burger. Yeah, I shouldn't have bothered with the fries. <laughs> Maybe I'll save the fries for dinner. I'm almost done. Got a little bit left. I don't even know where the bun is at this point. I guess I ate it all. A little stack of meat. Got a little bitty piece of bun right there. Last bite, baby. Look at that. Cleaned it out. Mmm. I wasn't really trying to time it, I wasn't really trying to go, but I ate it in under six minutes. So I don't know if that means anything, but there you go. It was a lot bigger than I was thinking it was going to be. That was a lot more grease. That's a lot of thing. I don't think I'm going to feel very well this afternoon, but it was worth it. Worth it. To conquer the big pounder, totally worth it. Honestly, I didn't think it'd be that big a deal, but I just if you get it, don't get the fries. Don't even bother. Although I do love McDonald's fries. Mmm. There you go. The McPounder Challenge in under six minutes. Thank you very much. Hey, you know the drill. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. And if you like this video, hit that like button. There's all kinds of buttons for you to hit just below this video. Just hit them all. Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate you and I appreciate everything. And thanks to McDonald's for making me a, a big giant McPounder today. Until next time, keep eating and we'll see you.